Welcome to Outtakes. I'm Lori Baker. As part of the Outtakes 2017 Daytime Emmy Awards interview series, here is Stacey Heiduck, nominated as Outstanding Supporting Actress for her role of Patty Williams on The Young and the Restless. This is her first nomination, and here she is to tell us all about it. So congratulations for your nomination uh, for the Daytime Emmys as Outstanding Supporting Actress for a Drama Series as Patty Williams on Young and the Restless. Thank you. Uh, was it a, Thank you very was much. Was it a real shock? Was it a surprise? Where were you when you heard the news? Well, yeah, it was because I knew that they were coming out that day. And so when I woke up, I, some, it used to be when they did, they did it early in the morning. So kind of the morning kind of dragged, you know, dragged on a little bit. And I thought, ah, I guess I didn't get it. I'm going to go to the gym so that I can clear my head so that I can get past it and move on. And then I got a call from the publicist over at YNR. And he's like, congratulations, as I'm jumping around at the workout. (laughs) And so I was very, very excited. And my daughter was there, so she got to get in on it as well and that was pretty exciting so yeah it it was it was a real wonderful honor I mean I was thrilled let me tell you I bet after that news you burned a lot of calories right (laughs) I did I did you know running around and then it was you know the adrenaline going oh my god oh my god this is great oh yeah (laughs) it's a nice feeling to get recognized I mean For the work that you've done for years and years and years, and you know, especially this year, this past year, and it's it's a nice it's a nice um, feeling. I got to be honest. (laughs) So, which uh, episodes and scenes did you submit? I submitted um, one show from the beginning of 2016, which was when Patty comes back to. uh, I get where was it? It was Polly's office at the police station, and she just the fire happened, and you know she basically was homeless, and so there was that scene all the way through where she gets put back into the um, call it <laughs> Fairview. So I did those. There was three scenes from there that I did, and then I. Went all the way to this fall where um, she was in another mental health place. Um, her second then transferred, and um, she another scene with Polly uh, where she has a freak out and says, "You know, there nobody. I'm never going to get out of here. I, I, you know, I need your help." And she's freaking out, and then he calms her down, and then she says, "You know, let me see. I need to see Sharon." And I need to get the secret out, basically. And so then the next scene I did was the, on that same um, same show was the one with Sharon and um, my nephew. Um, and then that scene where she kind of kind of toys with Sharon a little bit. And um, so I used those. I think there was one, two, three, four, five. I think five scenes. Yeah. But it was one of those things where I wanted to still tell a story with the, you know, arc a little bit. And I didn't want too many of the same scenes over and over again. So it was a hard choice. I mean, I'm glad I had the opportunity to have so many um, good shows. But it was trying to figure out what's the best shows to show my work as an actress. And I, you, you, you had to have a lot, like you got a lot of input about which scenes you decided to pick. Well, I, I would people. go through, yeah. And I would go through every single one of them. I went through every tape and then I picked all the ones I liked and I said, you know, and then it was, you know, my husband would go, okay, that's redundant and redundant. Even though you're great, it's redundant. And you already have that scene in this thing. And so I try to keep, you know, narrow it down to the shows that I liked. And I had, they said you could use four shows. Um, But Mm -hmm. I think with the arc that I wanted to show, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to see her go from that desperation to the freaking out, to the love, to the, you know, the kind of screwing with, you know, the playfulness that she has. So I I think, you know, yeah, I could have added some more stuff. I think it would have been fun, but I, 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 it worked. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it, it seems works, to it me nice. like it seems to me like when I talk to you know, I've been talking to a few actors. You know, it seems like just the process of putting together the reel is almost an art form in itself. You know, because yes. that's what all yes. the judges are looking at is 
you, you kind of have to know what you're doing when you put this thing together. <laughs> yeah, and it's not very easy yeah. sometimes because you're having to judge yourself and, and it's, you know, you see different things than other people. So you're, 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 you're right. trying to, you know, form something that shows multi-dimensional character. And, and, you know, I, I watching what I watched of all the others, it was fascinating to see all the different stuff that people were, you know, were putting up, which I really applaud the work. I mean, there's so much wonderful work out there and, and, you know, we don't always get to see everything. Yeah, we have quite a few <laughs> Y&R actors up this year. Yeah, Peter Bergman, Christoph St. John, oh. you, uh, Gina Tonioni, Burton, uh, Jess Walton, Kelly. Steve Burton. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, uh, yeah. and really, and uh, really, yeah, really, really good. It and I share. It's nice. It's so nice to see. And, and you know, I talked to Peter the other day, and it just it, it's it's a wonderful thing. And I was thrilled. I was absolutely thrilled for him. And, I you know. And I'm glad Kelly's there too because she deserves it as well. So, are you planning on attending the the award ceremony? Uh huh. Yes. Wonderful. Like, does it take a lot of effort to figure out what you're going to wear, how you're going to look on the red carpet? <laughs> Unless I just wake up and roll out of bed, wouldn't that be wonderful? I'll wear my robe down the That'll red carpet. Hello, darlings. <laughs> I know, you know, but it's so much fun to get dressed up, but then it's like, just, well, what do I wear? What do I, and I always like to wear something that is a me, you know, I don't, because, you know, there's people who have dressers and, you know, they get designers, you know, clothes and stuff. And I did that one year and it was a lot of fun to have somebody, you know, but it's also getting something that works for you. And so I like to go out to vintage stores and find um, pieces that um, I want to wear. So, yeah, I, I've kind of been in the process of strolling down every little vintage store in L.A. <laughs> to see what I like. <laughs> you know, Young the Restless is always, like, number one in the ratings all the time. What, did you, what do you think it is about this show that always keeps it, you know, the most watched soap opera in American television, you know, for the last at least 30 years? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It's so amazing. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's a. I think it's the. It's the whole. It's the whole package. I mean, from the people working in on the floor to the people behind the booth to the directors to the actors. It's it's the whole package. And you know, when you've got a great group of people and it's consistency, they they keep on their the actors that have been there forever. I mean, those are the base, and then they add in all the different family members and then the new ones grow up fast <laughs> so that there can be, you know, mm-hmm. there's some fun stories. And I, I, you know, I know there's been a lot of changes in the years and, um, but I, I honestly, they've kept it somewhat consistent, mainly with the actors um, and don't jump around too much. And I think the storylines have been, at least for me, for my stuff, I, I, I've really enjoyed coming in. I mean, I'd love to have a journey with, you know, Patty where she gets out for a while, which would be nice. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a yeah, camaraderie hope, ship. You know, the people really, yeah. it would be fun. I mean, I, I, I hope the journey is not over for Patty, but I, um, you know, they're fun characters, every one of them. And I think the writers are interesting and they write some, you know, <laughs> fascinating soap opera stuff. It's good. It's good stuff. You know, for Patty, I, you know, obviously the scenes with, with Zen are terrific uh, with, with Paul. And, uh, and I, and I always, I really uh, love the storyline, you know, when she, she's torturing Jack, you know, <laughs> the, the, you know, that was well, there's so much Patty, fun. When, and that's, when, that's, when that's been going on. Started. I mean, that's been going on forever and it, it's wonderful stuff. And he's all, I mean, both of those two guys, I mean, Peter and, and Doug are just, such a delight to work with and um i you know they're my favorite two leading men on the show i just i love oh, it oh yeah i love yeah well, it, it's pretty mm-hmm. go ahead <laughs> well, i'd love to see her i'd love to see her out just you know to to be able to torture jack some more because we all just love to watch jack torture because peter bergman's so good at 
storylines. I yeah. hope you tell so, that to um, Peter. Peter, darling, you, you, we love watching you get tortured. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's great being tortured, you know, because then he gets mad. Yeah, he's so you know, good. Chairs through windows and things like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, what do you, you know, Patty is such a crazy, you know, fun character. I mean, what is it that you enjoy the most about playing this role? Well, I mean, so much. Uh, I, first of all, I think she's such a full character. I mean, there's so much to her because um, there's an innocence about her. But she does things through that innocence. It's not, you know, she gets frustrated. Look, it's, she's like a two-year-old kid sometimes where they throw the tantrums and they want what they want. And But she also is pretty dang bright. I mean, she's quite smart. And... Um, Knows. I mean, I, I'm always shocked. At, I'm always shocked at how smart she is. I'm like, wow. I mean, brilliant. She should, <laughs> she should be running the world. Um, a little nice, <laughs> but that would be kind of fun. Um, but she, I, it, she's just very deep. There's so much going on, and I love when the writers challenge me with stuff because I'll be like, oh my god, how am I going to play this? And I sit down and I, I go over it and I go over it and I fine tune it. And then when I get with the actors and then it just flows. It's just, to me, she is just a well-rounded character and she's deep and um, she's exciting, you know. And you always want something full to play. I mean, you really do. And they definitely write it for me. Do you have a favorite storyline so far as Patty that you've done? Well. I kind of with the challenges of doing the um, the doctor and Patty, that was probably one of my favorites. Just because for me as an actress to play two different characters, one nuts and one pretty sane, <laughs> um, mm-hmm. and play opposite the two, that was that was quite uh, a challenge for me at the time. And and I, but I really really um, loved that 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 part of it i mean um you know because having to learn two different sides you're playing yourself basically and having to do that um yeah i think that was probably my favorite part of the storyline the dual mm-hmm. characters <laughs> yeah but i'm always so when thrilled you're not- to be working oh. off of Paul- doug doug davidson i mean he's just such a treat uh-huh. to work with so oh yeah well, you guys have great chemistry, the great actor chemistry together, I think. You know, I mean, I totally yeah. buy that you're, you're his sister, you know. His, oh, his yeah. crazy sister. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Nutty Patty. every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, um, absolutely. So when you're not on Young and the Restless, when you're not on Young and the Restless, do you have, like, any other projects that are, that are going on for you that you can tell us about? Well, right now I'm working on a new HBO show called Sharp, I think it's Sharper Objects. Sharp objects, sharper objects. Oh. Yeah, with Amy. yeah, and that's really that's um, that was really. I got that the same day I got the Emmy nomination, which was really quite. I'm like, okay, universe, oh, thank you so much. That was a good day because you know, <laughs> it, it was a wonderful day, and I needed that day so much because, yeah, as an actress, I mean, when you're not a, a contract player or series regular, and even that's not always guaranteed. There's ups and downs and, and, you know, you go through um, depression because you're not working and then when you get something, you're thrilled to get it and you work and then you're done because you're constantly working and then you're finished, you know, you, you're done with that job, now you go to the next one and hopefully it flows throughout the years, but sometimes you get these long kind of breaks in between and so then I really, really focus on my family when, I'm, when I have that time because always that's very, very precious to me. I have a daughter, and she's slowly growing up and going to be leaving the home soon. So I, I really, <laughs> really take advantage of that time, and that's, you know, that's been really important to me. So my project is to just take time out from myself and my family when I'm not working and be engaged there, and when I'm working, give that my attention so that it's, you know, ebb and flow. So I, I think that's needed um, in at least in my life, that I have to have that because it's the support that keeps you going. And then when you get the jobs, it's kind of the icing on the cake. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, I wish you the best of luck. 
uh, with Thank this nomination. Thank you very much. And congratulations so much. Uh, uh, I've been I've enjoyed your work ever since you started on on Young and the Restless as Patty. So I, I'm thrilled to, for you. And <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very 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 yeah. much. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Emmy ceremony will take place on April 30th at the Pasadena Civic Auditorium in Los Angeles. Coming up next in this daytime Emmy nomination series will be interviews with Gina Tonioni from The Young and the Restless, Kate Manzi from Days of Our Lives, and Taquan Richmond from General Hospital. And if you missed it, catch my previous interview with Vincent Irizarry from Days of Our Lives, which can be found on the website outtakesinterviews.com. Keep up with all future shows on my social media. I'm on Twitter as Lori's Outtakes, on Facebook as Outtakes Interviews, and I just recently started posting on Instagram as Outtakes Interviews as well. So see you there. Until next time.